Brienne got my glasses from a site called Zenny Optical. Not sponsored. <laughs> Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously, serial. Everyone is welcome here. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Maxwell. And I'm Jennifer, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode 322. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. You can find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoonie. Thanks, Spoonie. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. <laughs> Hello! Or if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal Spoonie, who's also Seriously Serial Director. Every month we post episodes with a theme, and this month's theme was hot and cold. But today's episode is a bonus episode stuffed full of special announcements. Have we ever done a special announcement episode before? Well, we've done bonus episodes and many holiday specials. That's true. I kind of feel like every episode of Seriously Serial is special in some way, but is that like, is that too sappy? Oh, you can be as sappy as you want. Seriously Serial means a lot to a lot of different people. I mean, a lot of work goes into every episode. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> well, Today, speaking of a lot, we'll be reviewing Rice Crispy Treats Coffee Creamer, Golden Graham Protein Bar, and a Cinnamon Toast Crunch Protein Bar. We're reviewing a lot of sort of cereals today, huh? It's a, a lot of sort of cereals that are kind of intended for grown-ups, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll need these. There we are. Now, why did you say that these sort of cereals are more for grown-ups? Well, I think mostly just because this is coffee creamer. Oh, sure. <laughs> and kiddos really shouldn't have coffee. Yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, what about the protein bars? Okay, mm -hmm. so elementary school kids, mm -hmm. they need between 19 and 25 grams of protein oh. every day. Oh. And middle school and high school age kids mm -hmm. need about... 50 grams of protein a day. Oh, okay, so actually protein bars would be great for kids, like especially kids who don't like the taste of meat, for instance. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, parents, just please be careful, or older kids, if you're buying the protein bars for yourself, just look for the protein bars that aren't like protein plus energy, uh, like a bunch yes, of added caffeine, because yeah. you don't need that. No. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and you, my grown up kiddo, <laughs> cannot actually eat these at all. Oh? Because they get their protein from almonds. Ah, okay, so yeah, then I'll just be tasting the coffee creamer because I'm mm -hmm. allergic to nuts. That is true. I think you should probably stick to pork, chicken, beef, eggs, dairy, cheese, and soy nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, fan mail. I love fan mail. All right. I love fan mail. Oh, you know what? You got two letters this time. Wow. Hey. Here, you can read this one. Okay. Right. okay. You want to go first? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is to me from Justin. Okay. Hi, Justin. Hello to Maxwell. My name is Justin, and I've watched Seriously Serial since before you got glasses. I have glasses, too. Where did you get your glasses? They are cool. <laughs> I like long necks, too. I thought they were called bronchiosaurus. Have you heard of bronchiosaurus? I like Seriously Serial because it's kind of about cereal, but mostly just about different kinds of fun. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Man, you've been watching Seriously Serial for a long time now. Thank you so much. Brienne got my glasses from a site called Zenny Optical. That's Z-E-N-N-I. I got to pick them up myself, and I really like them. Not sponsored. <laughs> no, no. 
And I have heard of the Brachiosaurus. It's a totally unique dinosaur that's similar to the Brontosaurus and the Apatosaurus. The main difference is that the Brachiosaurus is almost three times the size of the Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus. Instead of being around 30,000 pounds like the Brontosaurus or the Apatosaurus, the Brachiosaurus is almost 130,000 pounds. Pretty cool, right? All those books about dinosaurs that we got Max when he was a baby, they really paid off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you, Justin. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see. Our second uh, fan mail for today is actually addressed to Bookacorn and Bookworm, oh. and it is from Teresa B. Okay. Hello, Seriously Serial Team. Oh. Our family, two boys ages four and seven, <laughs> and two girls ages three and nine watch Seriously Serial every Saturday morning and we love time to read with Book of Corn and Bookworm. <laughs> it reminds me of Reading Rainbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I used to love um, that show. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and Sesame Street all mixed together. Okay. I searched Blue Forge Family but couldn't find the mm. whole story in one video. We promise to keep watching Seriously Serial, but we definitely watch a longer story time show too. Mm. Keep up the great work. P.S. We love the Crispy Cookbook. Hey, thank Rainbow you. Smiles are our favorite. Oh, I remember that, looks that crazy. one. Yeah. Okay, so Teresa, you are absolutely correct. By the time this episode airs, though, luckily you will be able to find story time with Book of Corn and Bookworm finally on Blue Forge Family. And there will actually be two complete episodes yeah. up for you to see. There will be the full length, The Best Thing, mm -hmm. and the full length, When Long Neck Learned to Love. Which was completed last episode. That's right. So we're so sorry there was a delay. Yeah. Book of Corn and Bookworm are very busy. Yeah. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. But the episodes will be up, and at the end of the year, we're even going to release an audio so that it's like there's a CD and a digital down. Oh, it's yeah. just going to be a lot of fun <laughs> with lots of different stories. But thank you for your patience, and you didn't miss it. They probably just weren't up yet. Yeah. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning, Forkabillion. Tell us about the coffee creamer first. A serving size is... There are calories per serving, and each serving has grams of carbohydrates and grams of added sugar. Thanks, Forkabillion. So the... No Not so fast, Maxwell. The protein bars. Ah, go ahead. A serving size is... There are calories per serving, and each serving has grams of carbohydrates and grams of added sugar. And a serving size is... There are calories per serving, and each serving has grams of carbohydrates and grams of added sugar. Great for the body. Yeah. Four chameleons, right. One gram of added sugar? Yeah, wow. just one gram. Yeah, and 20 grams of protein. Mm. You know, I can see why some people eat protein bars for lunch, or alongside some fruit and yogurt as part of their lunch. Yeah, uh -huh. definitely. Hey, spider. Hey, spider. <laughs> hey there, bowler. You've got a lot of prices for us today. Hello, Seriously Serial Team. I wanted to let you know that what you're reviewing today costs... And there are... Servings. Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! And... Costs... There is... Servings per bar. Let's figure out how much each serving costs. Divide the price by the number of servings. Ta-da! Math is awesome. Thank you so much, Bowler. Wow. 
Wow, though, $2.48? That might be the most expensive serving we've reviewed on the show yet. I think you're right. I actually think you're right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Spider, are you and Faith ready for your extra special time to create? <laughs> All right. We can't wait. It's going to be great. <laughs> Spider and I wanted to give you a tour of our seriously serial time to create treasure chest. <laughs> You're right, Spider. It doesn't look much like a treasure chest yet. <laughs> These are the tools we use during time to create to make all kinds of fun crafts, stories, and drawings. <laughs> Definitely, Spider. Our most important tool is our imagination, but these tools are helpful too. <laughs> Crayons and markers. Pencils with erasers. Tape liquid glue, and a glue stick. Brads and paper clips, a stapler, a hole punch, and safety scissors. Last but not least, a ruler. There is a ruler printed on the craft mat spider. Good eyes. Actually, there are two rulers. This is a craft mat. When Maxwell and I were growing up, our parents always gave us a craft mat to put underneath our crafts to make it easier to clean up and stop markers from going through the paper and staining a tablecloth. Yikes! <laughs> You can always download and print a Seriously Serial craft mat, just like this one, from seriouslyserial.org. These are the only supplies you'll need to craft with us here on Seriously Serial. And you don't need to have a treasure chest to keep your supplies in. You can use a box, a bag, a drawer, pretty much anything. What? It still doesn't look like a treasure chest? Agreed. Much better. Time to Create will be back in August after summer break, so you'll have time to collect your supplies and we'll be ready to craft together again once we're done enjoying the warm weather. <laughs> See everyone in August. Cool. Thanks, Spider. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm making my list of craft supplies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Move! All right, we're ready, Jax.
be back in August too. In the meantime, get out there and move. We promise, Jax. Make sure to visit. I promise. <laughs> All right, so you ready for our coffee break? Always. All right. the protein bars, how are we supposed to find their average? You need at least two people to find an average. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, <Hey>. hi! <laughs> we need you to Clearly. score <laughs> these protein bars. Are you ready? Okay, what is your score for the Golden Grams protein bar? Four out of five. Okay. Okay. What is your score for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Protein Bar? <laughs> five out of five. All right. <laughs> Obviously. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. There you go. Let's begin. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we'll both be having the coffee, though, so we can hit it with average. <laughs> Cheers. And it already has a bit of creamer in it, and we're both having them hot. Rice Krispie Treat Creamer. Yeah, that is very interesting. I'm yeah. expecting like a, a marshmallow type thing. Yeah, so vanilla. And yeah, that seems about right. Very, very, very sweet. Yeah, very, very mm -hmm. sweet. Definitely. This is a dark roast coffee. Each of these mugs has six ounces of dark roast coffee in it and two tablespoons of the creamer added no sweetener has been added wow, wow. And this coffee is too sweet for me okay that's pretty that pretty. is very very sweet it's a vanilla flavor mm -hmm. would you say it's a marshmallowy i think it's uh, difficult to say because the bitterness of the coffee comes through so oh i don't think it does at all really, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I like my coffee a little sweeter in general. Which is fine. That's fine. Everybody likes their coffee differently uh, but, if they uh, drink it, coffee. But this just kind of tastes like a typical, like, like maybe like a French vanilla creamer to me. I don't think yes. it says marshmallow at all. Yeah, I, I definitely would have to say this also reminds me of just a French vanilla. Um, it's really, really sweet. I'm not getting rice or rice no, crispies, yeah, but also... I was expecting that. Yeah, just like the, a vanilla-y, creamy taste of marshmallows. I don't really... It's just sweet. Yeah. It, 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 it's just yeah. one note, not a lot of depth, just one flavor, sweet. Yeah, and I mean, I guess they captured that marshmallows are mostly sugar if this is, has no sweetener in it. It's yeah. not as sweet as, like, how I typically have mm. my, my coffee. Yeah. Just creamer and some sweeteners. So. Yeah. Well, let's see. Um... I mean, I guess this, in theory, could save you a step if you do like your coffee sweeter like me, but uh, yeah, you know, honestly, I'm not even sure. This might actually be a little more sweet than even I like it. So, yeah? Would you say like a one? I think I'm gonna give it a two, because I think that if you like your coffee sweet, then you probably like this. I'm, I'm still getting a little bit of the bitterness of the coffee, so it's good as a sweetening creamer, but I don't think it tastes like Rice Krispie Treats at all. Or even marshmallow, so yeah, I think two, a little below average, but you might still get some use out of it. And I'm gonna have to just be fair with the, my own way that I've always tried to score, and that is, I give something a zero if I feel that it just does not taste good, mm -hmm. and I would not buy it again, or recommend that someone else buy it according to what it says it tastes like. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to say a zero. Okay, fair enough. As for the bars themselves, yes. the Golden Grams one, Max, smell that. Very nutty, so yeah, yeah it's definitely not a good very thing I'm nutty. Not. I'm not getting a Golden Grams flavor actually at all. Peanuts wise, very nice. I like the mm -hmm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. Yeah, you can see that's like little like swirls. Mm -hmm. My mind immediately jumps to a Luna bar, but that's not quite right. It's a little different. But yeah, how, is, how is it? This is the kind, now with protein bars, unlike with granola bars, you don't get like, you know, the big chunks of oats or puffed rice or whatever it is that the base is. Yeah. This is like a protein paste. So, okay. you know, it's usually a flour and then almond or peanut or something ground together to create basically the the bar. Yeah. Right. And then this is covered with icing. I don't know what they're trying to do here. Hmm. It almost looks like they've crumbled oats or something on top of the Golden Grams I one. Is the cereal? Yeah, I'm not I mean, getting it look like it, though. Golden Grams yeah, with this. Like I am definitely someone who eats 
both protein bars and energy bars and stuff like that. I don't believe I would normally get that because I really like golden grams and I don't taste golden grams in that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wow, a peanut. <laughs> so, a zero, right? Mm. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll give us going to Nathalie, or I guess Jennifer will. Okay. I would say this one, I definitely get cinnamon toast crunch from it. And also, it's a little bit chunkier mm -hmm. inside. Oh, okay. There's more texture for some reason in the actual bar itself. Maybe there's like little cinnamon clumps or something? Maybe, or clumps of almond. It's not as smooth as the texture of the Golden Grams one. So that's really about personal preference, about what you like. I do like the cinnamon toast crunch taste. I think the cinnamon is very prevalent. I wanted the Golden Grams to have like a honey yeah, flavor yeah, in yeah. the front. So I think I am going to give the cinnamon toast crunch protein bar a four, and I'm okay. going to give the Golden Grams one a one, just because again, I really love Golden Grams, and yeah, I'm not tasting the Golden back. Grams there. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've had our coffee break, so now we get to listen to a story, right? Well, we finished our book for the month, so I guess we need to ask Book Accord what's up. <laughs> By the magic of our cereal hordes, we call our friend the Book Accord! Hey kiddos! Bookworm and I are going to spend June and July finding all of the best books to share with all of you here on Seriously Serial. We'll be back in August with all new stories. Do you know an author? Are you an author? If you or someone that you know has written a book and you want us to share it on Seriously Serial, and on Storytime with Bookacoin and Bookworm, send us over a copy. Even if we don't read the book on the show, we'll email you a thank you gift. Remember to only send books that you or someone you know wrote and published. Send books to Seriously Serial, Care of Blue Forge Press, 7419 Ebert Drive, Southeast, Port Orchard, Washington, 98367. And don't forget to tell us your name and your email address. I love books. <laughs> Me too. Thanks for watching, everyone. Now, we know you might be worried that we're all taking the summer off. But don't worry, we're not. Instead, we're going to be posting more episodes than ever before. We're going to be posting so many episodes in June and July as part of our Seriously Serial Subscriber Marathon. Over the summer, we're going to be reviewing a variety of new serials and sorta serials. And during that, Jax, Four Chameleon, Book of Corn, and all our other friends will pop in to say hi. We know that summertime is full of vacations and playing outdoors, and we don't want anyone to miss out on all that fun. Yeah, that's why the Subscriber Marathon episodes will be only 10 minutes long. And will the Subscriber Marathon episodes still post on Saturdays? Yes, they will, but also Thursdays, Mondays, they're going to be posting all sorts of days, so tap that subscribe button to be notified every time a new episode drops. Cool. Then, in August, we'll return to our normal schedule of posting every Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Exactly. We're still not big enough to be paid through YouTube, but you can support the show by heading on over to SeriouslySerial.org. Because Seriously Serial is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments, but we love hearing from you. Mm -hmm. Go to Seriously 
www.cco.org and click the mailbox to write to us, and we might read your message in a future episode. Seriously Serial subscriber marathon episodes will start to post in June. We're so excited to share this new format with you guys, and we hope that you enjoy it. See you then. Bye. Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, seriously serial.